So this Bootstrap series is going to be a little more advanced uh, than my others. Um, in the past, what we've done is simply just download the uh, Bootstrap build and you know create our own layouts off of that. Uh, what I'm going to be doing in this series is showing you how to use Bootstrap and SAS uh, with a combination of Compass to build our own layout. Uh, eventually what we're going to do is we're going to customize Bootstrap to be uh, unique to what we want it to be and uh, eventually we'll create our own theme as well. Uh, now why would we want to do this? Well, Bootstrap is great and it's easy to use but sometimes you want a little more of a uh, custom look. So why would we want to do this? Uh, two reasons. Uh, number one, uh, we get to create our own layout, our own look uh, for our websites and still make use of all the cool features that Bootstrap has to offer. Um, number two, and probably more importantly, it allows us to write uh, a little more cleaner, more semantic HTML and uh, it'll definitely make upgrading Bootstrap to later versions a lot easier. If you're familiar with having to update from Bootstrap 2 to 3, you'll remember that they changed a lot of class prefixes and um, if you decided to update uh, to Bootstrap 3, then you'll know you had a bit of a headache uh, changing all those span classes to column classes and whatnot. Um, what we're going to be using is a combination of uh, SAS and Compass and we'll be using the official port of Bootstrap and uh, we'll also be using the Scout app. I have a video on my channel that will walk you through installing Scout and getting it to work. Um, it's not platform dependent so you can use this on a Windows or a Mac um, and it's what I'll be using uh, for, for this series to compile all of our SCSS. Um, here's what we'll be starting out with initially uh, we'll be building a layout and you can see we've had a pretty common home page layout just a header logo area site nav main content area some widgets and a footer and um i have a repository set up on github and if you want you can download the uh, assets and uh, what you'll get is the index.html file so you'll get this page but without all the uh, without all this code and you'll also get uh, this assets folder which contains uh, just a copy of everything from the official build so go ahead and download that and you can do that by oops you can do that by downloading this zip package and uh, you'll want to place that in a folder um, that you can navigate to in your browser. So that's all of that. Hope you enjoy this series and what I have coming up. Um, thanks for watching.